There's a special holiday party for NYPD families that have lost loved ones in the line of duty. As CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports, multiple generations connect there, making lifelong bonds supporting each other. Patriotism, honor, tears, and love filled the room at Russo's on the Bay in Howard Beach, Queens, Saturday. Grace Russell has come every year for 43 years to the annual holiday party put on by the Police Benevolent Association and the Detectives Endowment Association. Her husband, Officer Michael Russell, was killed in the line of duty at 30 years old in 1979. My son is 44. He was one when his father was killed, and my daughter was three and a half. We're never, ever forgotten. It's like a little kid the night before Christmas. Christmas, that you want to see the same people and you have such a shared history. Rita Williams' husband, Detective Keith Williams, was also killed in the line of duty 33 years ago. She says year round there's a scholarship fund in his name, but connecting with others here gives her a deeper purpose. This has carried me. You get to reunite with the people that was there from the very beginning. Sani Lou brings her five year old Angelina every year. Lou gave birth to Angelina with preserved sperm from her late husband, Detective Wenjin Liu, who was fatally shot in Brooklyn along with his colleague, Detective Rafael Ramos, as they sat in their patrol car in 2014. The first time I brought her to the Christmas party, yeah, was her first uh, when she was born. I want her to know that she's not the only lie to the child. That's what we are here for. We're looking forward to this every single year. And after the event, each family will go home with one of these gift bags from. On the PBA for the holidays. We want you to maybe smile through the tears. We know it's hard. You are what energizes us, whether it is 1967 when we lost someone, 1971 this year or 100 years ago, we will come together as a family every single year. More than 80 families from all ranks came together to see the people they now call family. In Howard Beach, Queens, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.